I was just in a, a, a Broadway play that opened in, it opened on a Thursday and closed on a Saturday. Um, it's always a good sign. It was called Requiem for a Heavyweight, which was a, a great play. Johnny Lithgow got nominated for an Emmy. David Proval got nominated for an Emmy. But Frank Rich called uh, Johnny Lithgow's character the little train that couldn't. Um, thanks, Frank. Brutal. Uh, and so the play closed. I broke up with my girlfriend. And then all of a sudden, the agent sends you a script and says, that Alan Alda would like to see you. And I'm like, Alan Alda doesn't know me from a guy at the post office. <laughs> and so I go in and I meet Marty Bregman, who is this great producer who was, you know, very old school. And he had a burner and he was this guy. <laughs> And so I, I go in to see Mr. Bregman, and I audition for him on, on Wednesday, and he goes, could you come in and see Alan, Alan, I'm so sure, um, on Saturday? And so I go in and meet Alan, and uh, I had read the script, and uh, a central component was my character had to pole vault over some cannons in the context of the movie. And easy. so Alan Sounds goes, easy. can you pole vault? And like any actor, I'm just like, you could ask me if I do root canal surgery. I would have gone like, <laughs> look, I was just in a play that opened and closed in 72 hours, and my girlfriend dumped me. I can do, I, I can do what do you want me to do? <laughs> and so I said yes, and then God saved me. He said, okay, well, great. Um, tomorrow, Arlene, his wife, who's the loveliest woman on the planet, Arlene and I are going up to West Point to see a facsimile of the cannon you'll be jumping over. And I'm like, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Am I gleaning that I'm in the movie? And he's like, he yeah. And I'm like, well, right yeah. And so uh, the next day, Alan Alda picked me up in a limo, and we went up to West Point. And by the way, I'd never pole vaulted in my life. Um, and now I'm up at West Point with all the department heads, the head of photography, the production designer, all the big mucky mucks in this huge universal film that Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Caine and all these great actors were going to be in. And here I'm, Lion Johnny C. And uh, we go up to a cannon, and it was about eight feet high, and Alan said, do you think you could get over this? And I said, well, well yeah, yeah. Wow. And so I did what I have seen track athletes do my whole life. I just did my steps backwards away from the cannon, and then I pantomimed going up to the cannon and pole vaulting over. Uh, and, and then I called my high school track coach out in Jersey, and I had about seven weeks to get ready, and I learned how to pole vault. In seven weeks, you learned how to pole vault. I could do dental surgery in seven weeks. <laughs> After you're in a play that closes in three days, you just call action and get out of my eye line. 